Hello and welcome back everyone, Emperor Mother Banana and this is Mountain Blade Warband. In between episodes I farmed up some cash, just so you know, we're back up to 9k. Uh, that's mostly because I won a tournament in Praven, I think it was, which earned me, yeah, 4 grand, as per usual. Also, yeah, I, I think that's that's mostly it. No, wait a second. I bought those crude iron gray, uh, greaves, I think it's called. And uh, as you can see, it's plus 32 to leg armor. They, I think, were about 1,900 dinars. Somewhere around there. Not sure. Was a pretty cheap pickup since they're crude. Can't put my mouse there, but yeah, there it is. And uh, yeah, it basically more than doubled our leg armor. Well, not not the sum, of course, but we had uh, leather boots with 14, I think. Now we have uh, iron boots with uh, 32. So that's that's pretty damn great, I think. So again, that's pretty handy. Just outside of town, some tiger bandits. That's good. Um, that's actually pretty much what I want to do, you know, just fight and fight and fight and fight. Pick up some cash, and as soon as we, you know, are rich enough, we buy another enterprise. Why the hell is my sh my shields looking weird? Huh? Interesting. I really want to pick my shield. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so everybody just charge, except of course for the trainees. They'll stay there. Archers come up here, and that's fine. That's just tiger bandits. I mean, come on. Would you leave my sword sister alone? I mean, come on. That's harassment. Boom. No, I missed. Oh, man. It's the first game of... Well, not Thrones, but... First game of Warbands Mountain Blade for today, so I might be a bit rusty. It's a pretty interesting... Yeah, that was a miss again. That should hit. Yes. So, it's it's really interesting how fast you lose your, well, I would say skill, but it's it's really damn impressive how fast it is that you kind of lose your your bearings, your footings here in this game. It's like, oh, I, I hit everything, and then just two seconds later, just play, stop playing for a day or so, you miss everything again. Anyways, we won, we... Got, just got too wounded, that's alright. And as always, take some stuff. Ooh, nice. Rolf leveled up. That's good. So, the problem I have now is that uh, the traders in uh, Riverjack don't have any money left. Because I, I sold them so much bandit crap, they, they just can't afford anything anymore. Which is bad for me, of course. It's. I don't, well, it's bad for the traders as well, because they have to sell that to someone, which won't happen. Yeah, killing some Tundra Bandits, it's crap. Hmm. Ah, there were some. Come on. Ah, it's just looters. Uh, looters are the weakest enemies you can find, I think. If I'm not mistaken. And they just don't have anything, so everybody just charge. Uh, well, of course, except for the archers and the trainees, you stay here. Just give some support. Well, let's let's lance someone. You, you, sir. Wanna get lanced? Ah, I'm not fast enough, damn it. Let's lance these guys. Poke. And. Poke. This lance is so... Ah, uh, that's why you don't want lance, actually. It's really bad on this... Well, it's... That's not, not correct. It's not like you don't want the lance, because the lance is pretty damn awesome. Don't get me wrong. And it's very deadly. The only thing that uh, really limits the use of lances is... Well mountainous terrain or just these hills because you can't pick up enough speed. See if I charge up here and as soon as I hit the mountain I should slow down just enough yet yeah, that I can't. 
deliver couched lance damage. So that's just something that you really keep uh, have to keep in mind when playing with a lance. That you should, well, try to be in, in flat terrain or at least fight more in this area here. Yeah, I think so, around somewhere around Sargoth tier. Maybe Suno province. That's pretty pretty flat terrain dirim as well. Usually, if, as long as you don't get close to the edges here, or the ridge, or I don't know, cliff, whatever. So yeah, that's that's something you should keep in mind. Ah, another pack of sea raiders. That's a nice head you have on your shoulders. Why? Thank you. I know it's a nice head. So the things that I want to do and I will do between episodes is, you know, just farm up again, farm, farm, farm. And as soon as we have some stable income, uh, you know what, the cavalry should just follow me, it's a bit better. Because we're going up against sea raiders, so they are not pushovers. Uh, yeah, the rest can charge though. Let's put the calf back again. Don't like them being up here. Just apply some crowd control, knock everybody over. Okay, now that the infantry is in place. Ah, that was bad, but not too bad. Stop hitting my horse, because my horse is amazing. Look at that, we have a unicorn again. So everybody's moving up, that's good. Should, I think, have them in one go. No! You enemies arrived? No. Sure, it seems like they weren't here in the first place. And broke through his block, pretty good. I just let someone else finish this guy. That should be it. Perfect. Yeah. All right, loot. Just take some. Also, constant fighting is ah. There we go. So we uh, now we earn some money from the die works, and yeah, we offset the cost by about five hundred and seventeen. That's pretty damn good. So we are losing about one hundred. Well, uh, why do I say about? We're losing exactly or lost this week. We lost 181 dinars. So, yeah, I, I, as long as we That's lose nice money, I do think we should not try to... Well, hmm, how should I say that? Expand too quickly, I think. That's, that's how I would explain it. Uh, let's put the calf over there. Infantry can come up here, archers stay there. Let's let those guys come up the hill. Calf will be pretty useless here, I think. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, you can charge. Nah, whatever. It's not a good idea to just let, let them stand over there and get shot at, because they will die. By a well-placed throwing axe. Should suck. Yes. No. Come on. Yeah, Rolf. That's good. Uh, let's let the archers move up to here. That would be a good idea. So they can actually shoot somebody. Oh, look at that. They have a really hardened guy, and now he's dead. Yeah, Looter was killed by RT. Good shot, Arty. I like that guy. I've actually read this online somewhere, I can't remember where, that you should give Arty the crossbow and just keep him with the archers because he there isn't a real... He isn't built for melee combat. Uh, well, Metheld is somewhat. Watcher, I think, is a better horse archer, or better suited for it. Uh, Rolf. You can build him out as, you know, just a calf guy, regular like, regular cavalry. He's pretty good at that. And we got another who's called. Nice, seven. That's great. 
That's pretty damn good. And we could have five knights, but we are at 705 per week. And I don't want to upgrade those two. Warrior, I do want to upgrade. Huntress to camp defenders, yeah, why the hell not. Now we are at 730. So, as you can pretty easily see, we'll have to pay a crap ton of, well, wages. So, I don't like that. I don't like it at all. So let's go to Sargoth. We could, of course, buy another... I think we could buy another uh, Enterprise here in Sargoth, but eh, I don't, I don't know why I would do that. As I think spreading them out is a better way to go. Or, you know, just put them in different cities. Oh, wait a second, I do think one of our guys doesn't have a Bernie yet. Um, yeah, I think Archie is running around with some crappy male shirt that's blue one. Yep, there you go. Talk to this guy. Let me see your equipment. Good sir. Ah, uh, well, it's not even... It's not that, that much better, but hey, I don't care. Wow, look at that. The male shirt has way better lower leg defense. Ah, yeah, as you can see, it's it goes up, mm, up about halfway through your, you know, upper legs. I think about here must be the knee, so yeah, I, I can see why. It's a way longer shirt. Well, I'm, I'm sticking to the Bernie. Uh, for now, for now. I've tried to get better armor here and there, but there weren't any good offers, let's just say. Nice heater shield. I don't, I don't know if we need it. Uh, the heavy iron, the iron war axe is also a pretty solid choice, I think. If you're more into axes. Classic military hammer. Hmm, not really anything here that I want. I mean, a war bow is good, but requires power draw 4 is... That takes a lot of points. That's 12 strength as a requirement as well. But I wanted actually to look at the armor. I like the winged great helmet, but I don't think it's justified to spend uh, 6k on it. So that's something. As you can see, these crude plate boots, they cost about 2, 2 700, uh, 2700. It has the same leg armor as our... Uh, well, yeah, it has the same amount. So I think I bought mine for half the price. See, this, these are iron greaves, just one... Uh, armor more and yeah, it's it's just not justified. Price is just not justified. So that's that. Nothing here. I think there is one or two um, heroes that I still want to, or companions that I want to, uh, yeah, hire basically. But nobody's here. That's bad. All right, so. I want to buy another die works, I think. That should be the best idea. A balanced double-sided lance, what the hell? Never seen that one before. I could go for the heavy Morningstar. That has a swing of 40, my, yeah, but that's just two points of damage. I mean, you have to, I think you have to factor in the speed bonus. So it's not just two flat, the two flat damage should be multiplied by your speed bonus, I think. So it's not just two damage, it's way more, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Ah, crap, we only have 10,092. Why is it bad? Well, if I want to buy it, uh, another die work, it means that I have, well, that I spent 10,000. And, you know, if I spent 10,000, that would be pretty bad. Because I have no money left for the next week's, for next week's wages. So I'm going to buy some iron here. Maybe we'll go, maybe we go hunt some forest bandits. It should be around somewhere. Hmm, damn it. That was a peace treaty between... Uh, I think the Swadians and the Kirgit Kaganat, 
Khan, Kog yeah, I think it's Kaganut. I'm not sure though. And damn it, because I w actually wanted to hire as higher up as you know a, merc a mercenary for the Swadians. That would have been good, but yeah, I don't know. Some Swadian infantry. I think they're pretty high up on the troop tier, so I don't want to engage them if possible. Forest bandits, let's try and get them. Prepare to die. Oh, they're just 16? Oh, come on. Uh, that will not do. We need a lot of money. We need good loot. So sadly, the Sea Raiders are the only thing that you can really rely on when it comes down to drops and money and, you know. Oh, come on! Get turn. Ah, she's so stupid. What? Why the hell would you pull out your freaking crossbow in melee? Why would you recharge your crossbow in... Oh, God damn it. I... Well, she has plate armor. You, you really have to give her that, so... We duck her out this precarious situation because she's freaking stupid. Ah, that's a good way to land. And see ya! Come on. A thing that I don't like about Lance is if you're in couching position, your shield is up. It is actually up. But as soon as you hit something and you, you know, have your lance in this position, then you have to manually press your shield button to, you know, basically right click to put up your shield. Which then in turn kind of, there is a moment between, you know, this position, holding up your shield and gaining speed again to couch where you don't have shield, a uh, shield up, which isn't that good. Ah oh well, we won, killed some bandits. That's alright. Ah man, I do think I want to go to... Ah, at least... Oh, we doubled our money on that, that's great. I do want to go south a bit more. Huh. Yeah, of course you could buy plate armor, but I don't like the look of it. Kinda looks weird. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> ah well, I think the coat of plates will be our next big upgrade. I mean, we get we gain about ten leg armor. We gain ten. Well, oh, even more, thirteen body armor, and that looks kind of good with the the great helmet. I'm not, I know I've said I'm not really a, a huge fan of the Code of Plates, but I think it's time to upgrade. Or actually, no. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. I want, I want a, I want an Enterprise. That's the thing. We were saving for and that's what we're gonna do. So we're going to Praven and I think Praven is a good, well, place to start an Enterprise. So we need to take a walk around the streets. Hopefully we don't get Ah oh, we I think we got ambushed. Do we did we get ambushed? No, these are just footmen. Alright. Sorry for you know Pulling up my weapons, but I'm I'm paranoid. I'm paranoid. Ah damn it, I don't know where this freaking uh, what's it called? Guildmasters. I think he's up there, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Where's my horse? My kingdom for a horse! Don't even have a kingdom. Yet. Yet. Okay, he's not up here. I once knew all the layouts, but I, you know, it's not that I, I've played... I haven't played in a very long time, so... Yeah, I've, I kind of forgot that. 
Also a poor athletic skill really slows us down. Also having two shields, wearing a male shirt, iron greaves. Hmm. That's just the guard to the prison. Alright. Let's take the stairs up. I do think that should be a, the guild up here. Castle guard? Yeah, there he is. Guildmaster. Hello, good sir. Let's see, how does the wealth of this region compare with the rest? Overall is known to be Yalen. Huh, okay. Poorer than 9, richer than 12, so in the upper... Eh, slightly above average. In terms of local industry... It's Yalen, okay. Less than 2. More than 19. That's pretty damn good. Hmm. That's good. That's pretty damn good. They're really... Well, they're... At least that they're in above average when it comes to wealth. And they're the third in third position, I think, when it comes to production. So that's pretty damn good. Usually dye works are pretty... Yeah, see? Those... That's that's a reasonable that's a reasonable payout I think, but I don't have the money for it at the moment, which sucks. God damn it! So now we should be over that limit. You know what? Gonna buy it. So wait a second. That was over there, and we have to jog again. Sorry about that. So, I could just, you know, just constantly turn around and see if a guy is following me, trying to kill me, like in one of my Kingdom Come Deliverance videos, which someone commented on, what a boring video, <laughs> just constantly, yeah, kite around the guy. Um, I agree with that, but, you know, not everything can be great, and I do think I said at the beginning I wanted to try to kite that guy, so, yeah, sure, I could have just sped it up or, you know, something else, but... Meh, I wasn't wasn't feeling it. Actually, I wasn't feeling it isn't the right term. I just forgot. I, I just thought I should do that. I mean... Uh, but yeah, point taken. Really. I'll... I, next time I, I will just cut or speed up the video. Yes, yes. Let's do it. Great. So, I lost 10,000 dinars. Again. So what do we have? 700? That's enough. For now. Also, the wealth does not, or well, the balance report doesn't uh, show up immediately, so. The weekly budget. As you can see, we have our net revenue. Oh, it's going down. God darn it. That's not good. Well, I'm pretty sure they didn't have anything. Hmm. Swadia declared on the vague ears. That's interesting. That's interesting. Let's go to Suno. Let's join the tournament. That's pretty welcome. But I think we're going to fight in the tournament in the next episode, seeing that we are pretty close to the end here, and the tournament will take very long, usually. So let's take a look at the participants, and yeah, I think we can win that. The only real uh, problem could be Kratos, but whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you next time when we fight in the tournament of Pra... No, it's Suno. In the tournament of Suno. We're going to look for the king of Swadia and... Well, offer to join his war against the Vagirs. I like Swadia a bit more than the Vagirs, but... Yeah. That means that we can't fight the Sea Raiders for a very long time, but... Who the hell cares? Anyways. I hope to see you next time when we swear fealty to Swadia. And as always... Auf Wiedersehen.